So we're here with Dave Clark, Senior Vice President of Worldwide Operations for Amazon, and uh, we're talking about this new plane, yeah. the beginnings of an Amazon fleet of aircraft. Amazon what? So why is Amazon getting into the airplane business? Well, we have uh, millions of prime customers around the U.S. who want uh, fast delivery on massive selection. In order to meet the capacity needs for the growth that we're going to have in the future, we need to supplement the available capacity in the marketplace with some of our own transportation capabilities. And this is one way we're doing that. Should UPS and FedEx be nervous? Look, FedEx and UPS and all our transportation partners, we have great partners. Uh, we're going to continue to be great partners with them. Uh, and this is supplemental to what they're doing. How will this change the way that people interact with Amazon, how they get their packages, how they get their deliveries? Well, for our customers, they should see nothing different. They're just going to continue to see the great, fast service they have. They're going to continue to see uh, more selection growth because we'll have the, cap the capacity to meet their needs into the future. So this doesn't affect delivery times? Will you be rolling out any new services? Or is this just a way to back up, perhaps at a cheaper cost, the sorts of services that Amazon already offers? Well, it's certainly a case to where once you have a capability, you have options to build new products and services off of. So I certainly think once we have all 40 of these planes deployed, there's opportunity to create a new connection for customers. Inventory that might not have been available next day suddenly could be available next day for customers. But really, it's all about building core capacity for our, our prime service for customers. Can you give a sense of the amounts of money that are involved in this? I'm, I'm sure that you don't want to go into detail, but if there's anything you can tell people about how much it takes to do this sort of thing. Well, I, what I, the way I put it is we continue to invest uh, on behalf of customers, whether that be in new fulfillment centers or new transportation solutions. Uh, we're very comfortable in the economics of this program and its ability uh, to both uh, meet the needs of the company and meet the needs of customers. You mentioned that there are a couple of little Easter eggs about this plane. For example, the tail numbers are prime numbers, and you mentioned that 1997 is the date that Amazon went public. Uh, can you tell me a little story about other Easter eggs or other prime numbers that are involved in this? Right. As we started designing this piece, you know, it was really important to us that it had a uh, imagery and something about it that was special and as you mentioned we like Easter eggs and things that are different uh, it really is the tail number is really special for us this one is Amazon one because it is our first plane it's day one for us uh, in airplanes and going back and putting the 1997 number on it uh, I think is really special you see on the tail we have a very large smile uh, uh, the symbol on the back of the plane representing Amazon uh, and Amazon Prime or Prime Air on the side so you have uh, owed to our prime customers relative to the name on the plane the big smile on the back, uh, which I think is uh, crazy awesome looking, frankly. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, then the tail numbers all being prime numbers. Uh, we're excited about all that. Is the second plane going to be Amazon 2, or is that out of the, not in the cards it's, because it's not a prime number? Yeah, it, or it not, is a prime number, actually. It's not in the cards. To, I don't think that one's going to be Amazon 2. We haven't named the second one yet, uh, and, and we haven't decided exactly how we're going to do that nomenclature, but we certainly will have prime number tail numbers on all the aircraft we're rolling out going mm -hmm, forward. Mm -hmm. And this is just the first of the branded fleet. Uh, the rest of them are starting to roll out through the back half of the year. I'm sure all the geeks are going to get after me for not remembering immediately that 2 is a prime number. <laughs> but... Uh, going back to the operations, uh, Atlas Air is going to be operating this on Amazon's behalf. Is there anything special about what they're doing, or is it just another job for them? Well, I think uh, we have two great partners in our air fleet. We have Atlas and ATSG, uh, both great companies, both great leadership teams, uh, both of which are going to be operating these aircraft uh, on our behalf. Uh, and uh, handling all the flights, the maintenance, the crew, uh, all those pieces, and uh, we're, we're, we think they're going to do a fantastic job. Great. Anything else that I'm forgetting? Uh, the only thing I would say is, you know, again, it's it's so great to be in Seattle doing this event, being this historic Boeing hangar. Uh, you know, for the geeks out there, I'm sure you know they appreciate some of the history associated with this place, and to be part of that, and to be a part of the Angels uh, this weekend. Uh, is going to be really special for us. We're glad to be in our hometown. Great. So I'm here with Dave Clark from Amazon and uh, watch the skies for Amazon planes. <laughs>